Join us as we take a journey through rare photos of a young Stephen Hawking and uncover interesting facts about this brilliant man. Born in 1942 in Oxford, England, Stephen Hawking showed a keen interest in science from an early age. At 17, he began his academic journey at Oxford University, and later pursued a PhD in cosmology at Cambridge University. However, at the young age of 21, Hawking was diagnosed with a myotrophic lateral sclerosis ALS, a progressive motor neuron disease. Despite doctors predicting only two years left to live, Hawking defied the odds and went on to become one of the greatest minds of our time. Despite his incredible achievements, Hawking was an average student in his youth, with mediocre grades and a lack of interest in biology. His love for mathematics, however, was evident from a young age. He also faced isolation and depression during his time at Oxford, but found solace in joining the rowing team. Hawking's first marriage to Jane Wilde lasted 25 years, and his personal life was later revealed in the book, Traveling to Infinity, which was adapted into the biographical movie, The Theory of Everything. He is also a children's book author, co-writing, George's Secret Key to the Universe, with his daughter Lucy. His book, A Brief History of Time, brought him worldwide fame, selling 8 million copies and solidifying his status as a brilliant mind. He also made numerous guest appearances on popular TV shows, showcasing his sharp sense of humor and wit. Despite his physical limitations, Hawking's passion for discovery and exploration was unwavering. He has expressed his belief in the possibility of aliens and was among the first to test a plane that can send individuals near space. As we delve into the life and accomplishments of Stephen Hawking, we will also explore his unique personality and sense of humor, as well as his impact on the field of cosmology. Join us as we uncover the extraordinary life of this remarkable man and gain insight into the mind that helped us understand the universe.